I fell in love with, with food. I fell in love with the restaurant business. Huge early voting turnout as about 30% of Valley voters have already voted in person or requested an absentee ballot. We take you inside a new Italian restaurant in Niles and we get an update on the Smart 2 project in Youngstown. This is the Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. With less than two weeks to go before Election Day, Ohioans are voting early in big numbers, and those numbers are reflected here locally. Since early voting started October 6th, more than 1.1 million Ohioans have cast ballots for the general election, more than double the rate in 2016. Secretary of State Frank LaRose also reports Ohioans are voting early in person at three times the rate as four years ago. In Trumbull County, 36% of the more than 135,000 registered voters have already requested an absentee ballot or voted in person, says Director Stephanie Penrose. At the Mahoning County Board of Elections, Deputy Director Tom McCabe says nearly 30% of the more than 165,000 registered voters have requested a ballot or voted early. While in Columbiana County, 30% of the nearly 66,000 registered voters have voted early or plan to do so. Some absentee ballots in the Valley were delayed delayed when Midwest Direct, an outside vendor, fell behind as a result of the large volume of requests. McCabe says the company is now up to date and the final 16,000 ballots were sent out last week and will be arriving in mailboxes this week. Now we get to the good stuff, the most important news of any news, and that is new restaurant news. This is Restaurant Watch. <laughs> Santino Guerreri, an Ohio State graduate, has brought his love of food back to the valley with his newest venture, Tino's Italian Kitchen. Located in the Niles Park Plaza, Tino's is a fast casual Italian restaurant, sort of an Italian subway. We are carry out only, um, we, just because of the size of the restaurant, we, we want to ensure the safety of all of our customers and employees, and we don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable for any reason. So right now we are just um, carry out only. Uh, customers have the option to just walk in, they can go right down the line and and you know, one of us from Tino's will can will build their meal and cook their meal right in front of them. Guerrero invested sixty thousand dollars into the business, which opened in late July. He says the response from the community has been overwhelmingly positive. The Smart 2 infrastructure project along 5th Avenue in Youngstown is on track, with Phase 1 set to be finished next year and Phase 2 set for completion by fall of 2022. On Wednesday, the city's planning commission received the update from Jim Kinnick, director of the Eastgate Regional Council of Governments. Phase 1 will reduce the number of lanes from 5 to 2 and create new lighting and crosswalks. Phase 2 will improve streets that link downtown YSU and Mercy Health and create a bike path along the south side of Front Street. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Northwood Realty has acquired Stouffer Realty. The merger makes Berkshire Northwood the number four real estate company in Northeast Ohio in terms of sales. And a big congrats to two area organizations. First up is Humtown Products, who was named Manufacturer of the Year in the Small to Medium Enterprise category by the National Association of Manufacturers. The association selected Humtown for its work bringing 3D printing to foundries, one of the world's oldest industries. The family-owned company has become a world leader in 3D sand additive manufacturing, according to a company release. And also a big congrats to the Trumbull Tourism Bureau, who received the Spirit of Innovation Certificate from the Ohio Travel Association for its response to the coronavirus pandemic. In May, the Bureau began the hashtag Can't Wait to See You campaign on social media with the goal of encouraging county residents to visit family and friends. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Project along 5th Avenue, along 5th Avenue. Can't say fifth. Fifth is on track with phase one set to be. <laughs> <laughs>Seven Seventeen Credit Union is paying it forward because we care about our business community. We are offering six months of free ACH and domestic wire services through small business payments when you open a free e-business checking account. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, we are here for your business.